Hey there guys, welcome back to Cop Talks in another video. Today's video is going to be about my favorite as of late duty holster, and that's going to be the Safari Land ALS series. I've been using these holsters probably for well, about three years. Uh, this particular one, uh, a little bit less than that. This is kind of my off-duty slash casual wear holster, and it allows me to carry my duty pistol or Glock 19 with a flashlight, either a Streamlight or even the Surefire X300. As you can see right here, fits in there just fine and allows it to be drawn. Now, some issues I've had, it's not so much an issue. Uh, something I didn't really like was that this nub was, well, this is like the release lever, right, for their level two. And their level three has it as well but it has a hood that also rotates and covers the rear of the pistol. This has no texture on it at all. It's fairly slick and not a whole lot going on there. I don't really mind this too much for my casual ones, though I will be upgrading this with the upgrade I'll be showing you here in a moment. Other than that, this holster has been fantastic. Uh, I got this one, I think, on sale for close to $50, and I wanted one specifically with the paddle mount so I could wear it with or without a belt, and it kind of just fit a whole wide variety of uh, clothing styles and options that I like to wear. Now, the upgrade option I want to talk about, I have on this ALS holster that's on my competition slash, you know, kind of general purpose gun belt, right? This is a nub mod from Oregon Tactical Defense. Uh, this just basically bolts on to the existing nub and gives you just a greater purchase area, meaning you don't have to hit right on the nub when you're drawing the pistol out, right? So, that bag's not in the way when I'm wearing it. Whenever you're going to grip it, it allows you basically just to pull and rip the gun right out of the holster and kind of gives you just a bigger a bigger area to grab on well to manipulate I should say that's been a fantastic addition to these holsters and I believe it was about 20 or 30 dollars which does sound expensive until you realize how much time it actually can cut off your draw and really really simplify the drawing motion and aid you in those high stress situations when your fine motor skills are are less than perfect you can kind of rely more on gross motor skills versus fine motor skills which really deteriorate in a uh, stressful situation but other than that these are in my opinion some of the best duty holsters that are on the market currently uh, they offer a fantastic level of retention they are easy to holster they are easy to draw from the holster and even easier with that nub modification they're fairly compact. Um, I know this seems bulky, but that's because it's also holding a, a full-size duty weapon with a mounted weapon light. But it's also very slim looking, and there's a couple of different modifications for these. I've seen mounts for tourniquets that allow you to mount a tourniquet to the front here using this screw here and a strap that kind of goes around. You can mount these to vests, drop leg panels, backpacks, vehicles. These. Uh, the Safari Land bolting system back here is uh, pretty common. A lot of people use it nowadays. There's a whole variety of different belt loops and different sizes for different belts. The, the, the accessories for this are just awesome. It's almost the same amount of modularity that you could get with the Glock itself. There's a ton of different modifications out there because it's so widely used and so widely adopted by many agencies and personnel that it's got a large support base, right? Now, this little screw right here is actually for tensioning this inner portion of the kydex so you can kind of eliminate some of that rattle. That's one thing that you'll notice about solid holsters like this is if it's not like a custom fit or like a precise fit, you will experience some rattle, which can annoy some users and even give away your position, right? So this one, it's been tightened up a little bit, not much rattle. On one of my other ones where it's a little bit looser, there's quite, you can almost hear a, a good little rattle in there whenever it's, uh, when you're just kind of walking or if you're running. But that's what that screw does. It allows you to tighten it down, kind of get you a nice tighter fit without really constricting the weapon and allowing you to draw it 
at a pretty high rate of speed. They do have several other models now. I think this is the 6 series. Yeah, this is the 6378. Uh, the 7000 series is their new and improved. It doesn't have this felt interior. There were some complaints that this felt right here would actually swell up when exposed to extreme amounts of water, such as in a rainstorm or something. I, I think I read a report of one officer down in Florida during a hurricane got stuck in a rainstorm and this suede actually swelled up and gripped his pistol and it would not allow him to draw the pistol once he got to the station. Thankfully, it wasn't in a stressful situation. It just happened to him whenever he was trying to take his gun out at the end of the day and he couldn't remove it. I personally have not had that issue happen to me, but that is something that I read. I can't confirm that story, but just that's something to keep in mind. Now this will work for the Gen 5s. Now this is for a Glock, obviously, but this will work for the Gen 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, and 5s. I've had no issues with the front serrations on the Glock Model 45 on this holster, and I have not had any issues with any of the other Glocks. This one specifically is for a Glock 19 or a 23, but like I said, it will fit a Glock Model 45, a Glock 19, a Glock 23, the compact variety of those. If you have any questions about this holster, you can go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. I plan on doing a shooting video demonstrating the, the differences in speed using one with the nub mod and without. Um, if you have any other suggestions for other uh, holsters or other equipment, also let me know down in the comments below. I'd be glad to take a look at them. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see of mine, just let me know and I'll see if I can do a video about it. Anyway, guys, really appreciate you joining me today. Um, your views and your subscriptions and all that really help me out. Uh, they definitely boost my crippling depression and anxiety and allow me to continue on for another day. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you in the next one.